Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I start in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum dear children, dear parents, followers of Ahlul Bayt alayhum salam and to the entire humanity. Dear children, dear parents, today we have our Kahoot quiz. So first of all, I would like to thank each and every one of you for being so patient with me last time and um, still logging on on time today for the reschedule one. Let's all dear children start with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. A very quick top participant um, notification uh, reminder of the last five we had. Shireen Haider came first, Arij Zainab came second, Alim Hazara came third, Sayyidina Noria Nakhvi came fourth, and Yasir Ali came fifth. Let's all recite salawat for all of these children who participated in the last and everyone else alongside them. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa farajna bihi. So dear children, dear parents, yeah, for the ones it is their first time logging on, very quickly I will tell the instruction. So you must have extra device. I will be reading out the questions live and the, and the answers. And so on your other device, you can quickly select the uh, box, which one you think is correct. The reason why we have to do two because the question is not going to come up on your phone if you're using that to answer the questions. So the website you go on is www.kahoot.it. The game pin is needed for this. So it's double four eight four three eight zero. That's the game pin. Uh, I would request each one of you to please have your full name. It must be the participant's full name, not the parent's name, please. Anybody's name that is not written properly will not be allowed to enter in the game, unfortunately, dear children. So please bear that in mind. So inshallah, we have uh, 25 to 26 questions and around uh, two minutes for each one of them. And the top five winners, inshallah, will be announced at the end. Please do get in touch with us. So far, we have had not all of the top five getting in touch with us. Um, if you know you are in the top five and would like to get in touch, the details are given below. So you basically enter the pin here and then you enter your name and then you enter the uh, game. So, and the way it's done is that I'll be reading out the question. For example, who is our first Imam? And I'll read out the um, options. Imam Ali, red box, Imam Sajjad, blue box, Imam Baqir, yellow box, and Imam Mehdi, green box. Then you pick on your phone or your other tablet the correct option. So, dear children, we're going straight now into the Kahoot um, now, and I can already see, mashallah, a lot of you guys have logged on. So, really good, mashallah. We will wait a few minutes for others to join us, and then we can start. While everybody else is joining us, um, today is, dear children, the starting of our next holy month. So if I can request you that while you're waiting, if you can type in which holy month it is in the comment section, let's see who will be the first person to reply to this. So type in very quickly in the comment section uh, on YouTube, which holy month has just recently started today? Let's see who is that first person. Basira Ali, no, Hussein Raza actually. Hussein Raza said Rabbil Awal, then Basira Ali, Rabbil Awal, Mina, Rabbil Awal, Shahida, Rabbil Awal, Mashallah. Yes, absolutely correct. This is the uh, month of Rabbil Awal. This is the third holy month in our Islamic calendar, Mashallah. And we are having more majlis, dear children. Uh, I have always uh, started making the flyers. So I will make one flyer this time for all of the um, events, all of the majlis and jashans. 
we have quite a few discussions happening in this month so i'm having all of them on one flyer and inshallah we'll share that with all of you so please do subscribe to cast school youtube channel and the facebook this way uh you won't miss out notification or a reminder that whenever an event comes up you can quickly check it so six or seven we'll wait one more minute and then we can start inshallah baby shark yes we're not having those names dear children please put your full name and just a quick hint for all of you the questions we have not changed them at all from the last time so if you were there last time most of the uh, all of the questions are as it was last time so hopefully this time you get to be uh, ahead of your time uh, I think we're good to go Hania we can start now and inshallah if anybody else is about to join us then they can uh, keep joining it because it's open for anybody afterwards so let's all start dear children with bismillahir rahmanir rahim bismillahir rahmanir rahim let's go true or false Arbain marks 40 days after the martyrdom of Imam Hussein and his companions. True, blue box. False, red box. So Arbain marks 40 days after the martyrdom of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and his companions. True, blue box, false, red box. Mashallah, almost all of you. Mashallah, got it correct. Next please, Hania. We have Zainab Haider at the top, Mashallah. Who poisoned Imam Hassan Mujtaba alayhi salam? Joda binte Ashes, red box. Joda binte Yazid, blue box. Aisha binte Walid, yellow box. Safiya binte Abu Sufyan, green box. One of the uh, participants has said, what's the point if the questions are the same? Um, in reply to that, I would like to say that um, the children had put so much effort last time and it is fair that the questions are the same that they had practiced and it's all based on the same majalis they have had so far uh, in in the month of suffer that we told them last time so it's fair for them to do the same thing and also it gives them a uh, I don't think there is any point uh, if we change the questions because th the main thing is for them to remember everything that has happened so yeah Okay, dear children. But in saying all of that, the questions are randomized this time. They're not in exact order as it was last time. So this actually gives you guys a head, uh, a, a kind of, you know, a lead. If you know the answer quickly, it's all about pace as well. So dear children, six seconds. Mashallah, most of you guys got this one correct. Yes, Joda Binte Ashes, well done. Okay, Shirin Haider is on top now. What conditions were set by Imam Sajjad when they were being released by Yazid? The conditions, guys. Get all the hairs of the martyrs back, red box. Get all their possessions that was looted from them, blue box. Get a place to mourn and cry for all the martyrs in Sham, yellow box, all of them, green box.
Mashallah, most of you guys got it correct. Well done, dear children. Which companion arrived at Karbala on Arabian day? Which companion arrived at Karbala on Arabian day? Abdullah bin Aqil, red box. Muslim bin Aqil, blue box. Jabir bin Abdullah Ansari, yellow box. Jafar Tayyar, green box. Just five seconds left, guys. Mashallah, yes. Jabir bin Abdullah Ansari, alayhi salam, yes. Still Shirin at the top. True or false? Imam Hassan signed a pre peace treaty with Mu'avia. True, blue box. False, red box. Wow, apart just for one, everyone else got it correct. Well done. According to most historians, what is the date of Bibi Zainab's Shahadat? Third Shaban, red box. 24th Safar, blue box. 10th Muharram, yellow box. 11th Shawal, green box. Yes, mashallah, majority of you guys got correct. 24th Safari, mashallah. Who buried Imam Hussein alayhi salam? Imam Hassan, red box. Imam Ali, blue box. Imam Zainul Abidin, yellow box. Imam Sajjad, green box.
mashallah all of you guys got this one correct and in the comment that's absolutely correct imam sajjad alayhi salam's name first name is imam ali so well done to you guys for getting this one correct if we can please go next who left this world on the 28th of safar hazrat muhammad mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam red box imam ali blue box imam hassan yellow box Imam Muhammad Baqir, Green Box. Mashallah, yes. Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa and Imam Hassan alayhi salam. They both are correct. Yes. Next question. Who is the husband of Bibi Zainab salamullah alayha? Jafar Tayyar, red box. Abdullah bin Jafar, blue box. Abdullah bin Quraysh, yellow box. Muhammad bin Jafar, green box. Mashallah, Abdullah bin Jafar is absolutely correct, dear children. Who are the children of Bibi Zainab Salamul Alaiha? Hazrat On, red box. Hazrat Muhammad, blue box. Hazrat Qasim, yellow box. Hazrat Ali Akbar, it's green box. The last one is Hazrat Ali Akbar, green box, dear children. Just under seven seconds. Yes, so we have two correct answers here. Hazrat On and Hazrat Muhammad. Well done. Shireen is still leading, dear children. 
Prophet Muhammad was a messenger first and then a worshipper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. True, blue box. False, red box. Guys, I know this is a quiz, but regardless that it, it is a quiz, you guys are still in the majlis of the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. You're here to learn and refresh everything that you have gone through entire and throughout this majlis so far. And so to store that in your memory, you're refreshing everything. So please be respectful to one another. Otherwise, we will have to block you as well. And we can do that. So be mindful of other children here that they're here to learn. Be respectful of theirs. Mashallah, majority of you guys go to correct. Remember when we go into our, when we do our namaz in, in the uh, tashahud, uh, tash when we recite tashahud, uh, we say, um, wa Muhammadan abduhu wa rasulu. Abduhu means Prophet Muhammad is a worshiper first, then he is a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So well done. Now we have Tuba, I think, at the top. Okay, guys, how many prophets did Allah send down to guide us? You should all know this one. 120,000 prophets, red box. 122,000, blue box. 126,000, yellow box. 124,000, green box. Dear children, a quick reminder in the upcoming majalis and jashans. So I will encourage all of you to take part. Um, the flyers will be shared. So um, the numbers will be provided on that. So please get in touch and participate in at least one of the majlis of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam or one of the jashans, inshallah. This is a great opportunity for you guys. Mashallah, majority of you guys got this correct. Well done. Tuba Irfan is at the top, dear children. Now, what is the relationship of Prophet Muhammad with Imam Ali? Successor, red box. Cousin, blue box. Son-in-law, yellow box. All of them, green box. Ah, uh, just just below 50, but uh, most of you guys got this correct. Yes, it, it, there's three relationships, dear children, here. Imam Ali is the successor, the first Imam after Prophet Muhammad. They are cousins, and he is the son-in-law of our Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it's all of them. Next, please.
What is the name of the place Imam Ali built for Bibi Fatima Zahra so she could cry for her father? Baytul Husn, red box. Baytul Muqaddas, blue box. In English, guys, this is called the house of sorrow. Remember when Rasulullah passed away, Bibi Fatima was crying and the neighbors came and complained to Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imam Ali alayhi salam, that we, we can't bear the cry of Bibi Fatima Zahra, tell her not to cry. So then Imam Ali went outside to Medina in near Jannat al-Baqi, he built a special place for her, the house of sorrow, it's called in English. But what's the real name in Arabic? And try to remember as we're going through each of these, try to remember the Masayib of the Ahlul Bayt Salam, that when Rasulullah was in his final moment, Bibi Fatima Zahra, uh, next to her father, he whispered in her ears and said, you're going to be the next one after me to come. So on 20, it's 28th Safa has just passed. Now we the next person to leave the world after him will be Fatima Zahra. Okay, yes, it's Baytul Huzun. Baytul Muqaddas is, it, it, it's, it's different. Inshallah, in one of the upcoming Majalis, we will explain Baytul Muqaddas, what it is. We have Nerji Sadiq at the top now, mashallah. True or false? After the martyrdom of Prophet Muhammad, the people complained to Imam Ali about Bibi Fatima's crying. True, blue box, false, red box. I think I answered this just before, dear children. So that's why I'm seeing a very quick response this time, very fast response, mashallah. You guys are really paying attention, which is good, mashallah. Honey, if I think everybody has answered, so maybe we can go next. 73 of you guys got it correct. Mashallah, yes. That's why uh, Imam Ali built uh, Baytul Huzun for Bibi Fatima Zahra. Well done. Next, please, Hania. What, what did Prophet Muhammad whisper in the ear of Bibi Fatima in his final moment? That he is going to pass away. Red box that she will be the next one to join him, blue box, both of them, yellow box.
Mashallah, most of you guys got it correct. Yes, it's both of them, dear children. Yes. Nerj is still leading. Then we have Alim Hazara. What is the spot called where Bibi Zainab saw Imam Hussein's martyrdom? Baytul Muqaddis, red box. Maqam -e Khalifa, blue box. Tile Zainabia, yellow box. This is the a spot where Bibi Zainab alayha, was standing and she was seeing how Imam Hussein alayhi salam, was getting shaheed, he was getting martyred and uh, Shimmer, may Allah's curse be upon him forever. He came and sat on the chest of Aba Abdullah Hussein alayhi salam, and took out the, his sword and, and pulled Imam Hussein alayhi salam's head and, and cut his throat. May Allah's curse be on Shimmer. So this this whole thing, Bibi Zainab Salam Alayha was watching from a distance. So there's a special shrine of her. If you inshallah go to Karbala, you will go to her holy shrine. There's the special name for this as well. So what is that, dear children? Mashallah. Yes, majority of you guys got this correct. Well done. Tile Zainab is absolutely correct. Next, please. Where is the holy grave of Imam Hassan Mujtaba alayhi salam? Mashad Iran, red box. Najaf Ashraf, blue box. Jannatul Baqi, yellow box. Bainul Haramain, green box. Just under 30 seconds now. And this is not any of these answers is not made up, dear children, uh, any of this option. They're all uh, places where at least one of the imams are buried there. Okay, yes, mashallah, majority of you guys got it correct. Yes, Jannatul Baqi is correct. Next, please. What does, does Shababe Ahle Jannat mean? Master of Paradise, red box. Master of the Youth of Paradise, blue box. Master of the Women of Paradise, yellow box. Master of the Seventh Heaven, blue box. Sorry, green box. I'll repeat this again. What does Shabab Ahle Jannat mean? Master of Paradise, red box. Master of the Youth of Paradise, blue box. Master of the Women of Paradise, yellow box. Master of the Seventh Heaven, green box. Something that I would like to say, dear children, is that um, at the start of every single month, 
make sure you take uh, out sadaqa especially on the especially the first day so if you have not done so in your family if you're not sure make sure you ask your parents have you ask them kindly mom and dad have you taken out sadaqa uh, for this holy month make sure they do it today okay Mashallah, it's master of the youth of paradise. Yes, and Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein, they both given this title, Shabab Ahl Jannat. Well done. On whose lap did Prophet Muhammad spend his final moments before he passed away? Imam Ali, red box. Imam Hassan, blue box. Imam Hussein, yellow box. Bibi Fatima Zahra, green box. Somebody has asked, Mina has asked, who is buried in, it's, it's Bainul Haramain. Bainul Haramain is, um, that's a that's a very good question. Now thinking about it, yes, well done. So, uh, it, it, not specifically uh, buried in Bain al-Haramin, but uh, Abba Abdullah Hussein alayhi salam and Mola Ghazi Abbas, they're buried in Karbala and between the distance between them is called Bain al-Haramin. Well done. And Imam Musa uh, Kazim alayhi salam is buried in Kazmain, dear children. Let's see the answer. Yes, Imam Ali alayhi salam is correct, dear children. Next, please, Hania. What title did Prophet Muhammad give Bibi Fatima Zahra? Ummul Masayib, red box. Umm Abiha, blue box. Umm Kulsum, yellow box. We have four more questions after this, dear children. So very getting closer to the end. So try to uh, speed up a little bit. If you are in the top five, try to get there. One second, dear children. Yes, mashallah, majority of you guys got it correct. It's Umme Abiha, the mother of the father. Well done. Which of our Imams is called Gharibul Ghuraba? Imam Hassan Mujtaba, red box. Imam Jafar Sadiq, blue box. Imam Ali Rada, yellow box. Imam Zainul Abidin, green box. Which Imam is called Gharib al -Ghuraba? Wow, a very quick response this time. A majority of you guys got it correct. Well done, Imam Ali Rada alayhi salam. Yes. During the time of Imam Ali Rada, 
The anime started a new school of thought. What is it called? Wakafia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or wrong, but please look. Wakafia, red box. Al Hamadia is blue box. Al Sanadia, yellow box. After this, two more questions to go, dear children. So during the time of Imam Ali Raza alayhi salam, the enemy started a new school of thought. What is it called? Remember um, when we die? When we die, when we go in our grave, but our soul goes to the next world, which is Alam Barzakh. And in there, in our graves, the two angels come and ask us questions. Okay? The two angels come and ask us questions. And the question they ask is, which school of thought you have? Which school of belief you have? So we would say that we are Firqi Jafariya from Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam. So during the time of Imam Ali Rizad, the people started making different uh, school of thoughts. And Waqafia is correct, dear children. Well done. Next, please. Uh, which country is Kaya School from? Uh, Australia? Where is the holy shrine of Imam Ali Raza alayhi salam? Qum, Iran, red box. Mashhad, Iran, blue box. Najafi Ashraf, yellow box. Kazmain, Iraq, green box. I am trying to answer all the comments as well as we go. Uh, so, yes, Australia, Melbourne, that's correct. And um, well done, Madiha Ali, that's absolutely correct. Um, our school of thought is uh, Jafariya uh, from Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam. we have we have different sectors in uh, within islam so we have like muslim yes but we have different uh sectors different groups muslim sunni and within like sorry shia sunni and then within shia we also have so many different smaller groups we are alhamdulillah the ones who believe in 12 imams but then we have some that only believe up to six imams we have some that believe only up to imam ali and some only believe in, in our last Imam, Imam Mehdi. So this, I watched a uh, majlis, and I need to confirm this, that there's 13 Shia groups. There's 13 Shia groups. And we are the only one that believe up to all 12 Imams. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Where is the Holy Shrine? It's in Mashhad, Iran. Yes. Say the Zainab is at the top now. There's difference in the ranking, guys. Next, please, Hania. Last question. Who was the killer of Imam Ali Raza alayhi salam? Amin Rashid, red box. Mamun Rashid, blue box. Harun Rashid, yellow box. Make sure as you're replying and answering this, make sure you curse the killer of Imam Ali Raza alayhi salam. And they three are connected, by the way. Amin Rashid, Mamun Rashid, and Harun Rashid. They're all three from the same family. They are connected. So now you just have to pick the correct answer. Yes, Itna Sharia, we are called that. Well done. And Mamun Rashid is the correct answer, dear children. Just uh, uh, give me a moment here, Hania. Slow down a little bit. So now we are going to watch the top five participants, who they are. Let's see that. Third, Narji Sadiq, well done. Second, say the Abiha, first. Say the Zaina, mashallah, and fourth and fifth are. 
Muhammad and uh, Sayyidan Noria, I think. Wasn't she sure? Let's all recite salawat for all of these top five participants and everybody else. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa faraj nabihi. Jazakallah, mashallah to all of you dear children for taking part in today's um, Kahoot quiz and refreshing everything that you have learned so far in the majalis of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with each and every one of you. And, um, the top five participants, please, I uh, request you to please get in touch with us. And inshallah, inshallah, uh, in the future, we would like to have at least um, a, a, if possible, um, like a grand Kahoot quiz for, for all of it that we have done so far. And uh, there will be special prizes, inshallah, in the future. Uh, but for that, we will announce it in the near future times. Jazakallah, mashallah to each and every one of you. Well done. So, iltimas e dua. Do subscribe to the Care School YouTube channel and uh, Facebook so you guys get reminders uh, for the upcoming majalis and jashins. And please do share it with your friends, dear children, because there are some of them that they don't know about this happening. And so please share it when you think your friends are interested. I won't hold any much of your time any longer. Jazakallah, iltimas e dua. Khuda Hafiz.